Hi, I'm Brent with LED Technologies, and you're watching Brent's blog, and I'm really excited about today's training. Uh, we're going to be talking about infrared light. So people buy our Nuve, and they turn it on for the first time at home, and they say, there's only four lights working. All the other lights aren't working. Well, in fact, they are working. They're all infrared light, and our naked eye can't see infrared light. So I thought I'd talk about that briefly and how I can prove to you in a little, a couple little science experiments that the infrared light is actually working. Some people say they saw the light and they were working when I bought them and now they're not. And we never, never, I don't necessarily understand how that can possibly happen. The only thing I can think of is when you look at this, the red are actually shining through the infrared. Uh, so it sometimes maybe make them look like they're lighting up, but they're really not. Uh, so what I've done is first I've set up a, uh, a handheld where I've taken black tape and blocked off all the red lights. So now we're just seeing pretty much, pretty much the infrared. There's a little red that's still going through. So the first experiment I'm gonna do is I got some heat sensitive paper. I took this heat sensitive paper here and what this is is when we, you know, if I put some heat against it, it uh, you can see my handprint, the heat comes through. So what we're gonna do is I cut out a little section of that paper and I've got it here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put it on the Nuve we're just going to stick it right on here like this for a couple seconds, pull it away, and you should see now little red dots, or little white dots, excuse me. I'm going to put it on here again. You'll see little white dots where the heat was. See them? See just a little bit? Yep. So uh, that's one example. I could put that on longer. I've got some more sensitive paper that works a little better. Uh, this is a liquid crystal paper that shows heat a lot better, and so if I put it on here, and I take it off, you have to put it on enough so you can see it. And you can start to see the color come through. I'll do it again. And after a little bit, you see how the little red, the little dots are coming through on the whole system that shows that the other, the other lights on the system are actually working. We just can't see them. You can see all the little dots there. Uh, the last experiment is a, a different temperature paper. I'll put it on here and you'll see the lights shining will change the color of the, uh, all at once you'll see them change color. They're starting to come through. And that shows you all the other lights are actually producing, producing heat, even though you can't see them. That's pretty interesting to me. And the final experiment, which is by far the coolest, I think, is you can see if I, if I take a, a digital camera and I turn on the camera part of it, you can actually see the infrared light show up in a camera where you can't see it without the digital camera. So what I've done is I've got a, I've got a second camera here. I'm going to show it to you. It's just one of these eye, you know, eyeballs you put on a, uh, a computer. The camera you're watching me, the primary camera you're watching me, um, filters out infrared just like our eyes. So you're not seeing it when you're watching it here, but you're seeing it on this little video that I just popped up, and you're seeing the infrared light shining there because it's a cheaper cheaper end, lower quality camera. So, um, you know, that's pretty interesting that you can see the light there, but you can't see the light on the other camera. I've got this infrared filter that I'm gonna, I'm gonna block the light, and it's an infrared filter that you would put on a camera, and so if I put that over top of this, you'll see, uh, interestingly enough, I need to get the right camera, you'll see it actually blocks the infrared. So that shows you these infrared are putting out a lot of energy, our eyes can't pick that up. So when you think your system's not working, it is in fact working. And you can especially tell it at home, if you don't have a digital camera, you can feel, and you'll feel warmth after the system's been on for two or three minutes. You'll feel warmth on all those LEDs. That tells you it's working. Uh, those little red lights uh, put out energy, but nowhere near the actual infrared light. The fan just came on. Anyway, I hope that helps to clarify the infrared light. And if you have any more questions, please uh, email us and watch more training videos. Thank you.